Audi e-tron is coming to America next month. It's actually a little surprising because uh, everybody I was expecting it to be like maybe July and uh, August because of the, some of the delays that they've been having. But they're coming pretty much next month, which is exciting. But at the same time, they got the new EPA rating and it's not very exciting. As a matter of fact, not exciting at all. So I'll tell you all about the both, the good and bad uh, coming up next. Take it over the world. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. Uh, if this is your first time here, there's a subscribe button down there specifically for you and it's free. So go ahead and uh, click on it anytime you feel like it. That way you will become a part of this community and won't miss anything moving forward. All right, so let's talk about the Audi e-tron. Um, as you know, I am one of the, I'm assuming, top reservation holders. I did it very early, the first day actually when they unveiled it in September. Um, there's a video about that from from the whole event. Um, I also did my test drive in Spain uh, a few weeks ago, so there's a video about that as well. Um, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, I've been getting less excited about it. You know, I've, I mean, as you probably, if you've been watching my channel for the last couple of weeks, I've been kind of going back and saying, well, maybe one more Tesla, you know, and but but so I'm struggling with this. Um, now, it, it is surprising that they just announced that they're uh, coming to the US. The, um, uh, the the first deliveries will happen in May. Um, so that's great news. Now, actually, there's a bigger great news for, uh, for them is they're saying that they will be bringing the demos to their dealerships and where you can, I think, test drive them, I believe, um, and check them out. So this is, was one of my ba major issues with with Audi and let's say how many let's see how many dealerships will participate because so far by my experience the dealerships are not really liking this as we understand why um, when uh, I personally went to an event local event uh, for the e-tron um, it was pretty empty um, mainly because they didn't seem to invite too many people I'm a e-tron e e holder um, that's assigned to that dealership that I went to and I didn't get an invite which is weird um, and I've heard many other of you guys when they commented uh, when you guys commented on that video saying I went to the same same type of an event in my city and it was pretty empty and they really didn't uh, put that much effort into it in my case um, not, a, not a single time I, I was hanging out there for like two hours not a single time a, a, a salesperson came up to me and said hey you like it? Let me show it to you. As a matter of fact, I was the salesperson and you know, asking questions from people I had them. There was this one guy who literally came out to check it out and put a, a, a deposit on it. And he ended up not doing that because there was nobody to do it with. So I know dealerships are really resistant, but if they somehow manage to talk them into it, then it's a huge, huge plus. And that's what they're saying in their press release today. Uh, and and it's, uh, it's, it's very, very, very encouraging. Um, so that's, that's good news. Now, Let's talk about the bad news. Um, the EPA rating came out and uh, they, uh, they are basically saying it's going to be 204 miles in range. And this is what we call in, in this business, and I don't mean to overwhelm you with the technical terms, uh, not good, not good. So the expectation was that it was at least 220 uh, miles, um, you know, just in comparison, the Model X and the uh, I-Pace, the kind of the the, comp the current competitors, uh, both are way above 230 miles uh, in range. And but the weird part is this: um, uh, in in Europe, uh, they uh, got rated at. I'm just looking at my notes um, at 259 miles, and it's usually very that their system is very uh, generous, but usually you subtract about 20 maybe 25 percent and that you get what you expect the epa to rate it at and this is a really big gap as a matter of fact uh, even I, I believe a spokesperson for uh, for audi was surprised how big of a gap this was um so that's no no and again anything over 200 miles is decent and acceptable but this is a bit of disappointment because of you know they have a pretty big battery battery it's 90 Five kilowatt hour, though it's not. So let me let's talk about the battery and see what the, you know. I'll, I'll explain what they're doing with that, um, uh, and if this there's an answer there uh, for why the range is um, so much lower than we all expected. Before that, of course, I want to remind you guys that this video in this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out the Byton and by the all electric SUV coming to the U.S. Um, as well next year. 
in Europe, uh, starting at only $45,000. I'm a reservation holder myself for this car as well. You should be as well. It's actually it takes nothing. There's zero money down to make your reservations. So go to Byton.com or there's a link in the description of this video and uh, get your own Byton reservation uh, because it only takes about 45 seconds. Um, I don't know why you would not do that. Okay, so um, let's talk about the battery. So the battery for uh, each one is a 95 kilowatt hour battery, but um, Audi said that they're limiting that by decreasing it by 12%. So that's going to be kind of a reserve. And that's for two reasons. One, and so, so essentially it's making about 84 kilowatt um, hour battery. The, the reason they're doing that is because they, want the, they don't want the battery degradation, right? So whenever you charge the battery all the way, uh, the degradation happens a little bit faster. At the same time, it's kind of weird because they have a pretty good active uh, thermal management system. So I'm not really sure why they're expecting the battery degradation to happen. And of course, also when you charge the car all the way at the last 20% or so, it's charging much, much, much slower. So if, um, if it is 84 kilowatt hour capacity that they're looking at as far as the driving range, then obviously uh, whenever you're charging it, it will go much faster. And that's great. And by the way, uh, the charging rate will be up to 150 kilowatts, which is pretty damn good. Um, it's more than Tesla's have right now. Of course, with the Model 3 and the V3 uh, superchargers, Tesla's going to jump in front of this, uh, but not as far as Model X is concerned. So it's still definitely going to be uh, beating Model X. And 150 kilowatts, it's pretty decent, as you know, here in the in the United States, Electrify America, and in Europe, Ionity will provide up to 350 kilowatt uh, uh, charging rate uh, in their network. That's growing pretty fast. Now there's hundreds. Uh, hundreds of stations uh, here in the US and Europe that will have pretty much in another half a year. So th it's it's really starting to grow um, and, it's, and it's great. Now, so let's talk about positives and negatives here. Well, the positives is the two good news. One is obviously that it's coming now and, and you know, they've been in production and, uh, you know, I, I, I run a, one of the Facebook groups for the e-tron uh, owners. You can find it at, under uh, Audi e-tron owners worldwide uh, on Facebook. And people have been saying that they've been getting theirs or, or it's just about to happen. So that's great. But now we can expect the same in the U.S. So that's good news. Um, and they're definitely beating their competition as far as, you know, uh, Mercedes and many other, uh, uh, you know, uh, legacy manufacturers and luxury cars that are coming to the market this and next year. So that's good. Um, the other good thing, and to me, this is the best part of the story is, um, and, you know, it's positive because uh, I felt so negative about it in the first place is, you know, the dealerships, right? Obviously, the fact that the dealerships will have... Uh, the demo there, that's a big deal. Now, as far as negative is concerned, and I'm wondering if that's actually going in the long term to beat out all of the positives, which it might, you know, 204 miles is not, it's disappointing. First for the, you know, the size of the battery, but most of the time consumers don't care what size of the battery it is. They just care what the range is, you know, and they're going to be looking at the I-Pace and Bolt even and Model X and all of that is going to be way more impressive than 104 miles, you know, 230, 240, 250. It's, uh, it, it's definitely disappointing. I'm hoping they're going to improve that. So maybe next year or maybe year after that, um, hopefully they can improve that. Uh, and hopefully they can improve uh, this particular model, even with the over the year updates, as you know, Tesla's done it before. Um, so I'm really hoping that. Um, and uh, if you are interested in this car, I would still uh, suggest that you, you know, put your deposit down just so you are able to get it at some point because they have over 20,000 reservations already, which means that's pretty much the first year of production is got done, right? It looks like they're going to be producing them at about 20,000 uh, car rate per year once they ramp it up. So. If you ask me, the line could be as long as a year and a half, even maybe two years. So, uh, but I still like this is still my front runner. I gotta tell you, it's still my front runner. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens with that. By the way, let me give a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons, Robert Samira. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon community, the only place where you can watch me live. So I really appreciate it. And of course, I appreciate all of my Patreons for uh, contributing and supporting my independent YouTube channel. Without you guys, this would have been much, much harder. If you uh, want to join my community there, then just go to uh, boom, uh, eforelectric.com. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't even know my own URL. Patreon.com slash eforelectric. Okay, let me start over. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll dult in just a second. Patreon.com slash electric, but there's a link in the description of this video so you can grab it there and not have to listen to this jumbo bubble. But there is e which is a text version of a lot of these stories uh, that we publish 
and my awesome writer AJ they're writing them every day so uh, check that out as well while you're at it uh, it's also in the description of the video all right guys uh, I'm gonna go and reset my brain apparently that's what I need to do first uh, but other than that I will see you tomorrow uh, and remember to stay charged Thank <laughs> you.